Well, there's been a lot of moves for the Canadians so far this summer, Pat. Um, do the Canadians make the playoffs next season if this is the team they have going into next year? I believe they do. I think they're good enough for you to carry Price and Goal. Uh, the defense is going to be decent. Uh, they still need probably another piece there. They have some money to get it. Um, the offense may be a problem. I, I don't think they've improved there uh, drastically, but they certainly have enough to, to make the playoffs. For me, I think it's not just making the playoffs. It's moving on from that first round and having a deep run like they did in 2014. That getting bounced in the first round is just really not doing it, and people keep talking about this window of opportunity with the players that they have that are capable to win the Stanley Cup. So for me, it's just more down the stretch what they can do. Playoff if, bound? If they get enough points, they'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see again. We don't know if this team has gotten any better, but they're going to be a lot of 2-1, 3-1. 3-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, Those are fun I, games. 1-1 one, one games. <laughs> I, I think, well, no 1-1. One, one. Shoot out. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I, think, yeah. I think with, though, with Carey Price and Net, your odds of making the playoffs are pretty good. I wonder, though, Mike Bergeron keeps talking about get to the playoffs and see what happens. And I'm wondering if with Jeff Molson's strategy, like, you know, people say rebuild. I don't know if he wants to go two, three years without any playoff revenue. And I wonder yeah. how much, Pat, just the team's strategy now is indeed make the playoffs and hope for the best. Well, Expe every expect the unexpected. <laughs> that's, that's everybody's strategy. Um, everybody's strategy is to, is to get the playoffs, and you know, unless you're really bad. But other teams are, want to win the Cup. They don't just want to get The Pittsburgh Penguins want to win the Stanley Cup. They're, yes, but I mean, they, and they went through, they went through mm -hmm. a, a, Different a, a dismal yeah. period and things like that. But you know, it, it helps when back-to-back -back you get you Jenny Malkin and Sidney Crosby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't But that's part of rebuilding, and I wonder that, if the Canadians would be willing to go through that. I, I, I've mentioned it several times that that's the best way to do it is to miss the playoffs three, four years in a row. Really miss the playoffs. Not it's, happening here. It's, it's, not, it's not happening. Not it's just happening. not going to happen. So don't, uh, you know, there's no sense in discussing Wasting it. time. Yeah, you know. Make the playoffs and see what happens. So mm -hmm. we'll see if they do make the playoffs. You know, Toronto did it, but, you know, Toronto, it's, it's just, you know, it's a different market. You, you can sell tickets. Uh, all you do is put them on sale and somebody will buy them. Well, it's the same here, pretty well, much, it's the too. Same, same thing here. But I think that, you know, we saw at the development camp this year, the stands were half empty. In the past years, they've been full. Mm -hmm. And it'll be interesting to see. I, I've talked to people up season tickets. They're a little disgruntled. There's still a waiting list. But it'll be interesting. Talk to the scalpers. We saw games last year where there were empty mm -hmm. seats. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's, it, it's something that... Uh, I think people are going to want more. Well, you can check out the full episode of this week's HIO show by going to HockeyInsideOut.com.